bin schon beigetreten. Also, gerade gerade. Richtig ungewohnt, ja. Seit 2K15, Mann. Wenn man so lange mit Zuko spielt. Naja, seit 2K15. Wieso bist du eigentlich gewechselt? Mal was Neues ausprobieren? Genau. Und irgendwie hatte ich riesen Bock auf Orten, weiß nicht warum. The most important thing to Randy Orton has been winning championships. He has done that in a major way, a 13-time world yeah, champion. Randy recently etched his name in history as one of WWE's few Grand Slam champions, and the Viper has shown no signs of slowing down. Just as dangerous now as the day he burst on the scene. So I can look stupid? I'm gonna tell Seamus you said that. No, no, no please don't. Right after this no, match. It was a slip of the tongue.
And known as one of the hardest hitters in WWE, there is an unmistakable presence that Sheamus brings to the ring. We'll never forget the night he won the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania when he defeated Daniel Bryan in a near record 18 seconds. Those kind of dominating performances, Michael, have become the norm for Sheamus' career. Slayer, the architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation. <coughs> and from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. <laughs> Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, that victory can be achieved in many different ways, and that it's every man for himself. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. This one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. The best laid plans often go awry, but the architect has always been able to rebuild and redesign. Yeah, but it's that reclaiming part at the end of his saying that Seth Rollins often gets tripped up on. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Ooh, what impact. Suplex. Oof. Celtic Warrior has dominated the WWE his entire career and is quite the decorated superstar. The way that Sheamus cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at Survivor Series 2015 and drilled Roman Reigns with two probe kicks was like watching the end of a wonderful movie. And just like that, we had a new WWE Champion. It was an incredible turn of events when Sheamus cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at the 2015 Survivor Series. The Celtic Warrior delivered two road kicks and took down the newly crowned WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. Many people feel that the events that followed Roman Reigns winning the WWE Championship at Survivor Series and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus <laughs> cashing in his Money in the Bank contract was a well-orchestrated plan devised and executed by Triple H. Into the powerbomb position now. And that's not necessarily where you want to be at this point in the match. Over 15 years into his WWE career, there were a few firsts left for Randy Orton to conquer. But he found one when he beat Bobby Roode and captured the United States Championship for the very first time. In position for a powerbomb. 
And that's not a good place to be, Cole. Oh, no, we could be looking at a power bomb. I think you're right, Cole. Look out. Michael mentioned Randy Orton's United States title win, and true to Orton form, it came out of nowhere. After a quickly intensifying rivalry, the Viper beat the glorious one at Fastlane for the one title he had yet to claim. And in the process, Orton became only the 10th person in WWE history <coughs> to become a Grand Slam champion, which requires you hold the tag titles, the United States title, Intercontinental title, and a WWE championship. Another apex for the Apex Predator. It makes sense for Seth Rollins to hold a tag team title with one of his Shield brothers, but to hold it with the overachieving Jason Jordan was the result of a series of unfortunate events. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. Seth Rollins in a very difficult spot here. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. Given what he's gone through in his match so far, I wouldn't be surprised to see one of these guys pluck him up. Vintage Randy Orton! Can he finish the job? Orton better not waste this opportunity. Those unfortunate events you mentioned, Corey, included a long-term injury to Rollins' tag team partner, Dean Ambrose. Jason Jordan then inserted himself into the Seth Rollins' rivalry with the ball, <laughs> ultimately winning the tag titles on Christmas night. Yeah, Raw General Manager Kurt Angle must have thought the duo were good boys all year long to grant them that opportunity. Rollins and Jordan had their own miracle on 34th Street fight, while the bar left the Cole in the stockings that night. Leave it to Byron to make Christmas references. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. Seth freaking Rollins. Unbelievable. Randy Orton got the boom. That's the impact. Seth freaking Rollins. Unbeautiful technique. Seth freaking Rollins. Unbelievable. Randy Orton got the worst end of that stick. Seeing Sheamus in a tough situation. And yeah, things look better for the Celtic Warrior right now. He may very well be on Dream Street right now, guys. Oh, man, he's ripe for the picking now. There's almost no way he can still win this thing. Not after taking all this punishment. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, oh, you can pick up your teeth in Section 112. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen, but we learned very quickly it was every woman for herself. punishment like that. <laughs> and there are those biting icy eyes, the venomous look of Randy Orton. Such a tough target. Oh, a drop kick. Right on the money. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. And what a reversal from Seth Rollins. Rollins, so impressive. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Oh, a heel kick. Right on point. Randy Orton getting put to the test. This may very well be one of his toughest challenges in a very long time. Yeah, but the good news is that he still appears to be in better condition than his opposition right now. 
There's a big reversal <laughs> by Seth Rollins. How good is Seth Rollins? Down to the floor. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. He wants no part of the outside. Uh oh, no, don't do this. Oh, my God, right to the gut. Looked up. Back suplex. Tech has plans to get in his opponent's head. Looks like it's working well. Boom, what impact! Yeah. It. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, you might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Harsh impact. Tope and Tomiko. Nicely done. Wait a minute. Set him up for something here. And he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. He's playing with him now. Kick to the... See if he takes the bait. Uh -oh. Suicide dive. Oh, man, that was nasty. And there it is, boys. This might be it. Oh, my. <coughs> you got to believe this one's over. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. Look out! Wow! Elbow! He wants no part of the outside. Double axe handle smash goes down hard. Superstar to the back of the neck. Seth freaking Rollins. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his soul ever does. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Seth Rollins. Oh, super kick. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. Randy Orton got the worst end of that stick. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. Orton looking spear! Rawls fans have it. Down they go. The Viper strikes again. I love it. This might be it. Oh, my. Rawls fans have plenty to worry about here. Oh, no. Seth Rollins needs to worry now. Yeah, the clock's ticking on the Kingslayer. Oh! That's what he was <laughs> looking for, Michael. in one of the best in the business. Oh, going to the top. High risk. He might have it. Incoming.
Now he reverses it. Back now inside the ring. He's calling for it. And what a reversal from Seth Rollins. Rollins, so impressive. Sheamus slips out of home. Whoa! Man, that was nasty. Sheamus can't waste it. There's a pin now. Two! Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Wow. Given what we've seen so far, it's almost too bad that two of these superstars will walk out of here as losers. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Harsh impact. And now one more time. But can he follow up here? Impressive, but you gotta be careful if you go to the well too often. You gotta believe this one's over. There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. How? It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Thunder and slam. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. And here comes Orton. Nailed it. Lariat. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap.